what is the hope of Israel and did it reach a large audience? So the hope of Israel was his book. He wrote two main treatises dealing with messianic themes. Um, one is the hope of Israel and the other is the glorious stone. And the glorious stone is Manasseh's interpretation of some of the book of, of some passages in the book of Daniel in which he lays out his views on um, what the messianic age is, how do these passages have a messianic import and so on. The hope of Israel is also a messianic work, but here he's responding not so much to any particular text, but to recent reports that in the uh, Western hemisphere and especially in South America, um, there were reports of tribes claiming to be descendants of the ancient tribes of Israel. And these reports, which were brought back to Europe uh, in the 17th century, created a great deal of excitement among um, Christian millenarians and Jewish messianists. Um, this is before the, the Sabbatite Seville episode, which really also caused a great messianic frenzy. Uh, and so Manasseh wrote this book in which he um, recounts the experiences of this individual Montezinos who made the claim of having discovered one of the lost tribes. And some people argued that in fact, um, the, what they call the Indian tribes of the new world were the lost tribes of Israel. Uh, Manasseh rejected that interpretation. He didn't think that the new world, the indigenous people of the new world were the lost tribes, but he did agree that at least one and possibly more of the ancient Israelite tribes, Israelite tribes did end up in the Americas. And this is his discussion of what the messianic import of this is, because it's with the discovery of the lost tribes, um, history is one step closer to the coming of the Messiah, which according to rabbinic tradition will only happen once the Jews are scattered to all the corners of the earth. And so now we see that they've been scattered to this corner. Um, and this actually inspired Manasseh to undertake, well, one of the inspirations for Manasseh to undertake his mission to have the Jews readmitted to England because there's still this corner of the world where the Jews are forbidden. Although I think there were other reasons why he wanted to take the English mission. <laughs>